We are on Hacker Replay, episode number 56. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything extraordinary today because we had all the crazy cheats recently already done. There's probably not going to be any more insane ones until next season. I am both, I'm equal parts upset at, but also excited for whatever new cheats they develop next season because honestly, like it is fascinating to see what they can get away with. I'm obviously hoping that Ubisoft fixes it, but like it is enticing to see what a hackers can do. But for this one, we have Bolt, who is accusing Call Me with a phone number. We're gonna hope that's not a real phone number. Actually, there's no way it is because well, actually, I guess it could be somewhere outside of North America. I was gonna say that's not an area code. Reason? Oh my God! If the entire match is like this, we are not gonna be able to watch this. It's hard to tell what's actually going to be suspicious or not if this is how buggy it is. Oh my god. Is everyone like this? Let's... Oh, it looks like it's just the cab, so maybe the cab is lagging. If it is a phone number, it's a Japanese one. Hmm. Probably some bullshit stuff. A popular phone number anyways. Okay, Cav is still AFK. Sledge just killed the bandit right next to them. Sledge is 1 HP. Cav is still... Oh! They just wiggled their mouse a little bit there. Oh, they just did it again. Oh. Oh my god, the leg. That was reaction base. I think. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Person needs to stop lagging. They saw the zero. Wouldn't say that's suspicious. Cavs play on seconds per frame, yeah. No frames per second, seconds per frame. Love that. Almost lined up with the Hibana, but it was also lined up with the corner of the wall. I don't like that our hands are moving while she's holding the pistol. I feel like if they had walls, they would have used that opportunity to wall bang Hibana since Hibana had a punch wall, anyways. Still looking more towards stock. Do you think that this shot on Hibana is the Cav reacting to being shot? Because I'm sure we've all been there where you get shot by an enemy so then you just start shooting instinctively. Or do you think that they're pre-firing the Hibana? And then they flick 180 to the... Who is that? Zero? I mean, I guess if you're a good player, that wouldn't be necessarily out of the ordinary to flick 180 and almost aim directly where you were being shot from. I think that was more of a pre-fire, but we'll see. Like, the Zero was sprinting there, so obviously it's not impossible for them to know that they're about to approach, but... What is the strat? 
They open up the hatch and then put down two proximity alarms. Smart. We'll fast forward this because I think they're just going to try to sit here as a trap. Almost looked like he was ready to move his aim as soon as Finko was about to push, even though. They would have had no idea. Oof. So maybe they do start losing and then he toggles on. And they're gonna try to do the exact same thing. He just got hurt by his teammate uh, Alibi shooting the Yana. Uh, that's so dumb. I'm curious if they actually end up toggling hard. Like, I would say from what we've seen so far, it doesn't feel like they're cheating in any capacity, not even the first round. But. Okay, AFK droning. Still AFK droning? Got back just in time. I think they're toggling. Sure feels like a toggle, <clears throat> so far at least. He just pre-fired the Goyo there. And then he looks away from the last person. He looked at him and then turned around intentionally, I think, to stay hidden. Nice. I think he did start cheating. I think he toggled. At least everything we saw there, it seemed like a toggle. A lot of people getting banned for cheating. And botting. This guy not though. It's just AFK. I'd say that's the first time since last run where he didn't immediately pre-fire someone. So many audio bugs this run. First game. He didn't even see him and he pre-fired him. The lag is not helping right now. I just love Dex, bro. Did I see that right? You like clicked over, realized he's actually coming, and then looked at him through the wall and almost what well, looked like pre-fired him through the wall. There's nothing that round. I guess if we only have one round where he goes nuclear, we can't really assume that he's cheating off that. Our whole MO is that we find multiple occurrences. And on a rare note, he's actually droning. I don't think he ever droned once in any of the previous rounds. Now he's actually checking corners where people aren't, which he wasn't before. I 
that was a bug, it was literally just Yang shooting 80 bullets non-stop. God, the fucking audio bugs. The fuck was that? Was that a Malusi that he was shooting at? I can't even see it. He just gets a wall bang. I want to say he's cheating though, just from that one attack round with Sledge. It did not feel like he should have got every kill that he did. He just walked on through and killed everyone. Am I crazy or is he flicking to his teammates because the cheat can't tell who is who? That was a thing previously for really low end cheats. It would just flick to whoever and you had to determine whether to shoot or not. So. It's possible, but it's also hard to tell because it was so laggy sometimes, I couldn't tell if it was lag that was um, making him look like he's flicking like that, or if he was doing it intentionally. Okay, so, wait, what? Gold, diamond, silver. 0 0.7 KD, 2.1 KD, 1.4 KD. Plat, gold, plat were their highest ranks. That's very weird. Who did they play with? Any cheaters? Two cheaters. They uh, really like to play with the semen devourer, semen consumer, semen slurper, and semen sniffer. We'll look up the submitter. I think it was Bolt Dot. I still don't think that that is like that low of a rank that he should just shit on everyone like that and know where everyone is through the walls. But I guess it could be possible if he's just overly confident. I'm gonna I'm gonna say cheater. I think it seemed like he toggled on for that. That's my prediction. You guys can say whatever you want. The other possibility is that he equipped the Varsity Gaming Charm that you can get for free by subbing my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime. Or if you don't have Twitch Prime, you can use $5. Alright, well, next match. We have Harkin.TX, uh, who's accusing Landon TM, and said that he thinks that Landon is queued with Bull, which my webcam might cut off a little bit. But he thinks they're queued together, but he mainly just thinks Landon is cheating. Okay. In slow mo, that doesn't look as suspicious. In real time, it looked like he almost was lining him up through the wall, but probably sheer coincidence. He's looking above him, even though no one's up there. he not realize there's a there's a hole in the floor and how did Thunderbird not kill him through that huh he was ready for that I noticed this as well when he pulled out the grenade to grenade the hallway Thunderbird left and he had no problems like full peeking the hallway not concerned about his life at all. And then there he was ready for a Thunderbird. Just domed her. Thanks for the 17 months church. Wait, actually, how did, did he get sh Wait, what? Where did he get shot from? Oh, the flying. He really runs diamond skin on everything. He does not know how Nook works. He's sprinting with the gadget. Pro tip, the Nook gadget does not work if you sprint. But he doesn't seem to care because he knows that people are waiting. Personally, everyone's different obviously, but personally, I feel like if I were to peek this and I see a hole here, would you not look at the hole thinking, shit, someone might peek me from there? But he doesn't even bother looking at it, but he shoots that and then walks away from it. I would personally be concerned about the hole. Okay. I don't know what the point 
where that is. Okay, he did see the Thunderbird the first peak, so it kind of makes sense that he pre-fired that. I think he saw Frostfoot before he swung, or as he swung. I know that he could have seen Frostfoot, but he was already aimed at her before he even swung. <clears throat> If he just perfectly wall bangs, even though he droned, I feel like it's still gonna be suspicious. No, he does not. Doesn't even entertain the idea. Are you still accepting submissions for hacker replay? So I wasn't before because the new season was supposed to start this week. Or next week. So there wasn't going to be a point, but uh, the new season got delayed, so I'm doing one more week of Hacker Replay, and no more submissions after this until next season. I think that's like the third time now that he has basically waited for someone to peek perfectly to where he's aiming. That was a bit more reaction based. Was that a 4k that round or 3k? I think it was a 3k. <laughs> Why delay? We have no idea. That's the best part about Ubisoft and their communication. They don't tell us, so now we're just sitting here with our dicks in our hand and have no idea why the new season got delayed. Um, I just have to wait and hope that it actually comes out. Fun. Is there even a way to get console match replays to me? Not that I'm aware of. I asked my community to investigate, and people who had both a PC and a console said that they tried to, like, get files from their Xbox and they couldn't get the match replay files, so... We do not believe it's possible. Man, why is it so choppy? It's not even... it wasn't even just the first match, like, this one's pretty bad, too. Well, guess my rank console? No, because I need the same thing. I need the match replay file, which you cannot get off console. I'm a little confused why a Ying is downstairs pushing. Like, Ying should be upstairs trying to push for the site because you have the flashes. What do you get from pushing downstairs? Does he know that they're about to get flanked? Seems like it. Seems like he's ready. Have you ever caught a cheetah with your charm that's available throughout year seven? I haven't, but that's because match replay doesn't have my charm, or doesn't show charms. That would be pretty hard to hear with the gunshots, the Finca boost, and all the debris and stuff, but it's like, he literally was just aiming through the wall waiting for him. But then the, the annoying part is like, Vigil did start sprinting, which would make a lot of noise, and match replay is not perfect at replicating noise, it's actually horrible for replicating noise, so like, we can't just assume he's cheating because he might have heard them. But I'm still like 99% sure that he is cheating. I'm just surprised that they managed to somehow take this to overtime. Did he just flick two of them through the wall? See, the way they played that was not at all like how they normally play. 
right? Like, normally, they would play that so much better, and that time they were just like, well, 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 not caring for their safety. That's what a lot of people will do when they're cheating to try to hide it, be like, well, I made stupid plays, like, they easily killed me, and then the people won't be as suspicious. Flick to the Nook's head through the wall before they jumped in. No, not really. He was aiming more at the window frame. We're good. Or now I I still do think that they are pretty suspicious. Especially something like this where they're walking towards the stairs and they kinda like look over to the hallway very quickly. But a bit too late, but it also gives them an idea of where the enemy team is if they can see them through the walls, right? And now they're running all the way over here. And like checking that they what what's the point of checking that? It seems like they just have no awareness. They also very briefly tracked that person's head through the wall and then looked back over. That I would argue is probably more coincidence than I just love Dex, bro. suspicion, but it seems eh, it's not great when everything else that this person has done has been like eh, moderately suspicious, you know. Subraxed. So I've been doing good. Just the uh, I told the story earlier. We found out we have carpenter bees in our cabana, which means that they all eat like the wood that our cabana is made out of, which sucks. Uh, so we sprayed one of the holes, and one of the bees fell out dying. But that is just the, the fun of home ownership. There's always something different to spend money on and fix. I might look this person up after we finish watching round six. This person seems like they have no map knowledge and yet they're able to just completely frag out and walk around killing people. If he goes to run. Why did he look over there? What, what what was that? I see on a clone coming in. Lined up on that person's legs, but stayed lined up on them for a while. That was probably one of the more suspicious lineups that we've seen so far. Like, they're always waiting and holding an angle that they know someone's about to push, <clears throat> and then they kill them almost immediately and then turn around. Every single time. Is that? That's not zero recoil, right? There was no vertical recoil on that at all. Not even like... What? Not even a little bump that he was controlling. Like that was just straight flat. It was still horizontal. But that could have been him moving it. I, this guy must be cheating. Like that recoil was so flat. And right there too. I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna look him up. I think he is cheating. They're definitely a cheater. They have a 5.26 KD. Level 53. With a 5.26 KD and ranked. They won all 9 matches. Got 100 kills and 19 deaths. This person has to be cheating. 100% cheating. So we're on a 6 round match. 
We have Bub Scorpion who's accusing antacid tablets. Bub Scorpion says that they weren't submitting this because they thought antacid's tablet was suspicious necessarily. They said that the enemy team was accusing their own teammate antacid tablet of cheating. He said in the text chat they were like, oh yeah, <clears throat> we just noticed he's cheating. So that's why he submitted it. I will have it be known that there is a Jackal and Cav ban on the orange team, so this might not be the best matchup. This could be like a Diamond versus Silvers. Talk no walk. True. Okay, he's looking in main lobby even though no one's there. That's reassuring a little bit. Gonna walk up blue. Just absolutely destroyed that pulse. Kind of hard to see what kind of recoil control they had there because it was through the glass and it was so fast. Uh, it was wavering a little bit. Okay, not that great. Man, where? what are these lobbies? I don't know about you guys. I almost never see Finca on my team. Even though Finca is considered to be one of the most powerful operators right now, I never have anyone on my team choose Finca. Whenever we're watching match replay or hacker replay, every single team has a Finca. Why are my teams not like that? Maybe uh, my last video of the season, I'll make it a Finca LMG video. I'm just going back into Siege. Why does everyone play Finca now? Uh, so Finca has two reasons. One, LMGs right now are incredibly overpowered. Um, and that's because reason number two, Finca's ability gives you faster reload, faster aim down sight. Um, what else? You can like move through barbed wire, recovers you from flashes, concussions, stuff like that very quickly. Um, it will revive you, it heals you for 20 HP, so it's just like, she has everything you could possibly need. And I think she has nades too, doesn't she? That being said, as we can tell here, some people aren't meant to have nades, because just because you have nades does not mean you can easily get kills with them. But yeah, she is very, very strong and just has so much to offer. Which is why I'll probably work on a Finca video for end of season. Hurry up. Do something. Okay, dead. <laughs> the timing on this, as soon as the Legion looks, he's on drones. As soon as he looks away, or the Legion looks away, uh, that fuse looks. Alright. Normally we say this is a guaranteed, like, you're cheating if we see this. But, the person had just peeked. Actually, no. Oh, no, no, no what they did. It was the Thunderbird. They had just peeked and shot, so they pre-fired. But it does look like they're trying to shoot the person through the wall, thinking they're about to swing again, but they didn't. If it happens again, we'll know for sure, but... Can't really tell based off that. He actually killed the Thunderbird, that's crazy. Why does everyone always like just sit and wait and they get the perfect headshot angle in like two seconds? I sit and wait and I have to wait ten years for someone to peek. And by the time they peek the round's over. I know this one's piano.
was a reaction to the warden. It wasn't even preemptive. He was pretty confident that the warden stayed in that corner, but it's not really anything to go off of. Capcan has an SMG. Yeah. I think what is it? There's only two attack or two defenders with assault rifles. Everyone else has an SMG. Uh, one being Thunderbird, one being Jaeger. I guess we have a Rooney DMR. But for automatic rifles or automatic weapons, I'm pretty sure all of them are SMGs except for 416 and Spear. Oh yeah, well my has the AUG. I forgot about that. I don't ever play with my. And is there anyone else I'm forgetting? Mozzie? I don't think it's considered an AR though. I'm pretty sure it's considered an SMG. It is an AR. Commando 9. So 5. 5 uh, defender assault rifles then. Good job chat. That's 3 cap can traps on that main door. What is he aiming at? He's aiming at like a foot above head level. I was about to immediately just end it and be like, we found him. We found a cheater. But he was shooting the jukebox. It just so happened to line up with Osa through the wall. Crazy timing. Like, I don't think there's been anything that I would be like, this is suspicious. Like, immediately assume that they're cheating. But, like, it's also just not... It doesn't seem clean. You didn't even know that the Nook was there. He reacted late. He dies. Okay. So, he mentioned in the file that the enemy team, so this team, said that he was cheating. I'm willing to bet when we look them up, it's probably going to be like they're all queued together and they were just like, oh, our friend Antacid or our teammate Antacid is cheating. Like, we should get him banned, blah, 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 blah. Or I guess a suspect, we don't know. We look up everyone after. Because if we just see their KD being like 15 or something, it's like, well, we don't have to watch the round, we already know. Did nothing that round. I'm going to guess not cheating. At all suspicious throughout the entire match. Platinum 1.1 KD. Consistently like that. Uh, let's see. Were they queued with those other people? No. Does not look like he was queued with any of them. That's weird. I mean, they just... That means his own team accused him of cheating for some reason. I, I don't get it. I think it's fine. H2 Siege, who's accusing Mazo. Oh, that sledge almost took their head off. So far, the alibi has only run around the map looking at places where people weren't. They've never really looked at where people were except for when they shot that hole in the garage. But that was just looking for like a, what I would consider an unknown angle to hopefully get someone on repel. Those guys sounds familiar. Uh-oh. Known cheater. I said that as it kind of looked like he looked at him through the wall. Did he? Hold on. Am I dumb? He looks here. He, was that a reaction off of the elbow being seen? Or was that preemptive? Cause like he swings here, sees nothing. I guess you could hear them. And then turn looks. 
That almost looks preemptive. Like, that is 0 0.5 times speed. It could be lag, because remember that the match is taken from the perspective of the submitter, which is H2 Siege. But, like, that almost looked like they were pre-aiming them. Overflick? Overflick would be weird, given that they looked like they had everything perfectly lined up before that, and then all of a sudden overflicked. Like, it's not really consistent. But we'll, we'll keep that one in the back pocket for now. Remember, it's not about finding necessarily one moment and just saying gotcha. It's more about finding repetitive things. Like, if we see him do that multiple times... Then we're like, okay, once is whatever. Twice is like, uh, it's a little suspicious. Three times, like, okay, you're doing this something. Or you like, you know what you're doing. Thanks for sub. K. K. Denedud. This would be a stupid change, right? What if fire destroyed Nate or not Nate's drones? Like, what if you sent a drone in and it got destroyed by the fire? That'd be dumb, right? That was almost a pre-fire. Maybe it was a pre-fire. I don't think the sledge was at all visible when the alibi started shooting. Killed from the Osa pushing through the breach. Okay. Drones get destroyed in map fireplaces. Oh, that is true. I'm gonna make a video on that, like a Twitter video. Inconsistencies in siege. Drone right there. Let me guess. They knew beforehand. Oh, they did. And then the supposed cheater dies. I don't think they even saw the Jaeger there, but they pre-fired him and then here they can like, I guess, barely see him. I know it was very hard to see, but it looked like you could just barely see the Jaeger. I will never understand how people can notice stuff like that. Because I will never notice it. Mistaken. I'm pretty sure here when Twitch is peeking, they're already aimed at prone level. Or they were expecting them to already be prone. They didn't even, they didn't look at height level. They didn't expect them to be here or anywhere here. They just like looked here at prone level already. Huh. Might be a little bit suspicious. I wasn't sure if they actually saw the egg or not. See, seeing the Jaeger was fine there, but I'm still I'm still held up on last round where they pre-aimed the rook at prone level.
I've also noticed that whenever they are using their drones, they're very, very rarely using it to kill, or not kill, but like spot people. They're more using it just to uh, destroy gadgets. Like they basically ignore the people and then walk in after they thrown out all the gadgets. Which is fine, like that's how you should be using the drone. You should be using it too. How'd they know? Oh, they sprinted a little bit. But they look there after. They look there late. Tries to shoot the smoke through the smoke. Like, it almost looked like they were lining up the the rook through there, right? There they reacted. That was an actual reaction to someone being prone. Last time, remember, they aimed at him prematurely at a prone level. I knew that smoke was there, so I can't really say that that one shot is suspicious. Okay, they throw both their Twitch drones. They're ready for this. They're, they know exactly what they're going to do. That actually worked. Won't work that anyways. Are they trying to get Jaeger here? Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious too. It looked like they were trying to get the... Who would that be? Frost through the wall? But I guess they didn't realize that there's a giant vending machine right here. person not killing them. Hello? Oh, there's boxes in the way, I guess, that they can't really make out anything. stairs and just light everyone up. Okay, Jaeger is legally blind. Or legally deaf, maybe. Uh... was way too robotic, right? There's no way that that was like a legit flick and then lock on. I know the frost shot, but like, look at the pistol. Like, I get pistols have low recoil, but like, went like, they went done, done, and then just steady firing like just an inch above their head. It is possible that they were just 
going for a clip, but that seemed way too accurate. And they're also aiming at prone level again. How do they know? No one on their team is on drones. That's the second time that they looked at someone and like waited for them to appear because they were aiming at prone level. I'm going to guess that just because of the ang or the prone stuff, I think they're suspicious. I'll see their stats. Apparently they were a former champion and now a negative KD diamond becoming a positive KD platinum. They were a champion with a 0 0.9 KD. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I am like unforgiving. But I feel like if you play with someone for 16 matches together and they turn out to be a cheater, <clears throat> like there is no way that you did not know for 16 matches. Like I feel like they, you have to know that they were a cheater. The two prone shots and the flick through the wall with the pistol, even though the frost shot is still for me too suspicious. I would guess just because somehow negative KD champion plus Q to someone who is banned after they queued together for 16 matches, I'm going to guess that they are a cheater. What's the point of closet cheating? Spinning and flying in the air as master seems much more fun. A lot of people will closet cheat just because uh, they want to still go up through the ranks without people like being too suspicious of them because they think it means that they have good skill. Uh, in this match, we have Ivanol accusing Pockets, and Pockets is running Ella Shoddy. So either they're cheating, or they're an avid varsity gaming fan. Or viewer, rather. They're cheating. Well, this is a fast one. They just tracked that drone through the door and then shotgunned it perfectly. So speaking of the, uh, the crazy cheats... Oh, this is the same cheat that was used against me from that Q sniping cheater. That I think I was supposed to release a video for that on Tuesday, but because the season got delayed, it's getting pushed back to next Sunday or Saturday. But the the cheat I'm talking about is uh, no spread shotgun where they can snipe you from across the map. Oh, but they didn't want to go for the shot. Maybe they don't want it to be too suspicious right off the bat. This person is cheating, like we know, they are they were tracking people and perfectly shooting. They also have a no recoil cheat from the looks of it, because uh, here you can kind of notice it here. So when they go for the drone, look where their shots are and look where their reticle is. The reticle was like up here and the shot went down here. It just did 99 damage to him with Ella Shoddy from, like, 20 meters away. It's the worst cheater ever. Do they just go, like, completely nuclear in overtime? Yep. They have, uh... No recoil, hip fire aimbot, and uh, they can fire more shots per shot than they should. Their uh, their aim still sucks though. Oh, changed their name. They have been banned. Yep, cheating. They had a 3.63 casual KD. All right, last match. Uh, we have Lero Tayo Gaming, who's accusing X Dewey. What is with the Cav bans? Why are we seeing so many Caviera bans? Cav is not strong. She is still considered to be one of the weakest operators on defense. I know she's like stronger in the lower ranks because people can't hear, but like, goddamn, guys, she's not that strong. Why are people still banning her? She is not ban worthy. Like, generally, someone going cab is throwing. Actually, 
actually ran past the other person that was in what you call it, uh, Lodgy. Okay, they don't know where the enemy team is from the looks of it. Evident from that C4. I feel like if you're cheating, you could easily get a C4 kill from below and just be like, oh yeah, I just, I guess. Went for default shot. Got killed. Have his band up in silver slash gold too, because people are afraid of getting flanked without them hearing people who can talk. If you're in gold and you're like an actual gold, you should never be afraid of a cav. If you're a shitty gold, then sure, that makes sense. But cav is just never a good band. Can you mention some basic cav counterplay for us shitters? Yes. Open your goddamn ears. Okay, no, he saw zero. I was gonna say, it looked like he was tracking, but when he first punched it, you could see zero for a second or a millisecond. That was a reaction, that wasn't expected. Got one on jacuzzi, one on roof. One on roof. I feel like when we look at the actual like stats and stuff after this, it's gonna be that the ex Dewey guy is probably a higher rank, maybe gold, and this is gonna be like a bronze or copper lobby. Dewey's still way off site, holding top floor, even though the attackers are pushing towards site, and two of them are now dead. Didn't shoot the drone either. I guess maybe didn't want to give off a sound cue in case there was someone in blue and they were flanking. Going to bar, Mozzie just got into a gunfight, which is why Lion's probably looking over. Ella shoots wildly and downs the Lion. Wasn't, I guess, expecting them to peek from bathroom. Since line was one, at 1 HP, it makes sense why it was an easy down. Now Ella's going for the flank of the century here. Not even slow walking or crouch walking, just full sprinting towards them. This ballsy motherfucker. Has no idea where to look either. The Finca very clearly... Okay, this this has to be a super low level lobby. No way, they didn't reinforce main wall. I'll say this is a little weird for them to, from what looks aim free or like prone level right away but I mean I, at this point I don't think the enemy team knows what's going on such a horrible mirror to that, that wall is broken yeah okay that's a, that's a match replay bug probably because I fast forward gets an ace Let's uh, watch two more rounds. And I guess Ash tries to rush and dies immediately. And then they go another round. So it seems like X Dewey is the only one getting kills. Wow. I'm very curious to see what uh, Rook's aim was like here. Wow. So how did they lose this round? Something dumb must happen. I'll probably sprint in through here. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say sprints in through there and dies to the cap can sitting in the corner. Oh, they actually did that to the cap can sitting in the corner. Okay. 
This time they went upstairs and they actually reinforced the balcony wall. Chat, what rank do you guys think this is? I'm gonna guess bronze. Maybe compared to bronze. I'm gonna guess our, our friend Dewey here is probably normally a gold. And whether through malice or through bad luck, drop down to bronze or copper. Diamond champ, true. Even, like, the Dewey guy's not... Like, look at... That was a sh... What is that Claymore supposed to do? This guy's not that good either, but... It's still... You can tell he's just... Doing better than the other team. Silver in low bronze. I don't even think a silver... And low bronze would do that well because like silver and bronze are basically the same rank. Personally, I don't think there's any difference between silver and bronze. I think those two, for all intents and purposes, are the exact same. You didn't notice the lesion sitting in the back there. Aiming crouch level at Lodgy, which the Sledge had just gone through. They just reported Dewey for that. I will say that one kill on Azami, who is the person who submitted this, I would also be like, what the fuck, how did that kill me? Because it looked like it was a complete whiff, but apparently it was a headshot. But I've been getting that all the time recently, so I know it's not cheating, it's just Siege sucks. Alright, let's look it up. Don't think there's any way they're cheating. Wait, what? Oh no, that was unranked. Oh, okay, I was about to say, there's no way they actually were cheating and they got banned already. No, okay. They, just, they don't play ranked. But previously they were silver or gold. And I'm guessing that the enemy team was like bronze or copper. Yeah. This makes sense. It seems like just a gold player in a bronze slash copper unranked lobby. So chat, that's going to be it for Hacker Replay today. What did we have? We had, what, three probably cheaters, or two for sure cheaters, I think. One maybe cheater, two not. The last one I can't remember. Not bad, I guess, for end of season. I tried to mainly look for matches that would be more, we'd have to investigate rather than just be obvious, because it's end of season, we've seen all the cheats. Um, Like I mentioned at the beginning, I am very excited to see what the cheaters will come up with next, because... They're always just looking at different ways that they can completely just destroy the game. We already have defenders picking up diffusers and planting it. Um, so for next season, I, I'm expecting some interesting stuff. Like I'm looking at, I want to see them modify operators so that they're at like launch. Like I want to see Lion with the wall hacks. I want to see Ella with 50 bullets, 4 Grismots, no recoil. I want to see Malusi with the old Banshees. If the hackers can do that, I'll be fascinated.